Few people want to share space with insects. Long legs, quivering mandibles and segmented bodies skittering across walls or floors make many of us uncomfortable. For some, they're downright terrifying. Then, there are ladybugs. No less an insect, but somehow dearly beloved, and even celebrated, by many. The little red beetles appear as a motif on clothes and décor. We sing songs about them going on a picnic, and we consider them a sign of good fortune. Considered more cute than creepy, they evoke far more whimsy than fear. So when people begin to see a lot of ladybugs around, including inside their houses at this time of year, it might not seem like a problem. Not so fast, ladybugs are in fact voracious predators, and the type that invade human spaces in the fall are an invasive species that could be doing more harm than good, both to our homes and to the greater ecosystem. Ladybugs, also called ladybirds and lady beetles, are biological control agents that eat pests and protect crops, says John Lossie, a professor of entomology at Cornell University. People have known they're important for thousands of years. Farmers realized if they had a crop beset with pests, ladybugs could save it, he says. They'd pray to the Virgin Mary to send them, and that's how they got their name. And when they did come, the farmer would have good luck against the pests. They're still considered good luck today. That helpful nature, coupled with their appearance, is what makes them so appealing, Lossie adds, even to the bug averse. Ladybugs are these brightly colored little blobby hemispheres, with the legs sort of tucked under. They look friendly, he says. Unless, of course, you're an aphid. It's just because you can't see their mandibles, their teeth, Lossie adds. If you did a real close-up and saw them eating an aphid, and legs are dropping off and parts of the aphid are still squirming, it's brutal. It was one ladybug variety's particularly ravenous appetite that brought it to the United States. The multicolored Asian lady beetle, Harmonia axaritis, was introduced sometime in the 1980s to control aphids, whiteflies and other pests. The idea is that a lot of our crops are foreign like soybeans, which come from Asia, and that brings in foreign bugs, Lossie says. The Harmonia ladybug, an especially efficient hunter, was imported for increased pest control. Unfortunately, the variety spread much faster than anyone could have predicted. It's unprecedented, he says. Now, not only is it the most common species in North America, it's the most common ladybug species anywhere in the world. In their native range, across China, Japan, Korea, Mongolia and parts of Russia, Harmonia ladybugs overwinter in piles of rock and in the cracks and crevices of cliff faces. So when late fall arrives in the United States, Lossie says, they're flying around looking for cracks.